welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel today I am going to be doing my nine week update so I am pretty excited if you are new here my name is Alex I am 19 years old I already have a son he is a year and a half and his name is Grayson and we have a baby cooking currently so that's fun. I did just wake up from a nap, so like this whole side is super red because this is the side I was sleeping on, on the couch. So, uh, it's a look. This is, what up? Which brings me to my first symptom of pregnancy is I cannot stop sleeping, guys. Like, I swear, I think I'm gonna go into a coma one day. I could have as many as four naps and super long, like two to three hour naps. I am constantly tired and I feel like Patrick forgets that I am growing a human and not in like a bad way. Of course, he's super understanding and he's been great with my pregnancy, but sometimes he'll just be like, why are you so tired? I'm like, I'm growing a human. So I can't wait to get big so that way I have like, I don't know, I feel like at this stage because I'm not showing a whole bunch I feel like people think I fake things. A ton of my friends have even told me like, you're not even really pregnant yet. And it's like, yeah, but your body is still growing a human, which is pretty crazy. So it's very tiring and it obviously causes a lot of symptoms. And so I feel like a lot of people just don't understand that Pregnancy is hard at any stage. Like you enter pregnancy and it's like just a whole new realm. But anyway, let's bring it on to my next symptom, which is actually really weird. I actually really want to talk about this and it is indigestion. I didn't get indigestion with my last pregnancy until like the end. So I never experienced indigestion and I had foods that would give you like talkies, like spicy foods that give you really bad indigestion. I was about in my last pregnancy and that didn't happen until later on. And so of course this pregnancy, I grab a bag of talkies like without a care in the world. I'm like, I can't get indigestion now. Like I'm nine weeks pregnant. No, uh, apparently you can and I get it about every night and it sucks because of course it makes it harder to sleep and then I'm really tired so I'm just like, body, what do you want me to do? But yeah, it isn't as bad as last pregnancy where my body just found a way to get indigestion with any food I eat, so that's good, but I just have never had it this early on, but I have it. The next sign, and this is kind of an obvious one, is peeing a lot. So usually, well, I guess it happens at any stage because it's like one of the early signs, but for me, I didn't find myself peeing a whole bunch, again, until later in my pregnancy because your uterus is a lot bigger, but I am waking up in the middle of the night to go pee, like every night. That's just, that's the, that's the schedule. I wake up in the middle of the night, go pee, and go back to bed. And if I don't go pee in the middle of the night, like I will pee my pants, like we'll have a wet bed. And that is another thing that was in my last pregnancy, like way later on, like second, maybe third trimester, and I'm doing it in my first trimester, and I think it's because my body has already gone through pregnancy, so it's like, hey dude, like we're just, we're gonna do it full out this time. And so I think that's what's going on because my uterus is definitely growing a lot faster than what it was last time, but uh, I don't know, man. The next pregnancy symptom that I am getting is the good old friend constipation. And this actually didn't really happen, at least I, I don't remember it being a huge thing in my last pregnancy, but your girl hasn't pooped in a while, okay? And I, I don't like talking about my poop, but uh, I feel like it needs to be talked about because it's, it's, it's been a few days. And yes, I know about like laxatives and, and things like that, which are perfectly safe during pregnancy, Personally, I don't like taking medicine. I, I I just, I don't do it. So um, I have been eating foods that will make me shit opposed to like taking laxatives and stuff like that because I'm more about like natural remedies and stuff like that. So I've been eating lots and lots of fruits. I can feel it wanting to happen and it's, it's getting there guys, but uh, we, we haven't shit. That's uncomfortable. Welcome to my channel if you're new. <laughs> How about shit? Nice to meet ya. Next thing is my cravings have been pretty intense. And this was something that was like a given last pregnancy. I'm a food person, I love food. So you add pregnancy to my already cravings, it's like insane. So I have been craving this time around sweets. 
Last pregnancy, I was craving kind of anything junk food. I wanted, I think actually a lot more salty, yeah, a lot more salty foods opposed to sweet foods. And this time around, it's just anything sweet. I have a hardcore sweet tooth. My number one craving has been lime shaved ice with Lee Moy, which is something I like before pregnancy, so it's not even like too weird. It might be weird to you guys, but like, that was my normal weird. And so that has been my number one. So we have a shaved ice place that's basically across town. So I pay for gas to go across town for this $3 shaved ice, but it's like 100% worth it. And the next thing I've been craving is chocolate strawberries, you know, the huge, and hot chocolate. And if you guys know me, I am not a huge chocolate fan. That's That's been fun. And then today's craving was artichoke hearts, and not like a normal artichoke because that takes too long to cook and I didn't feel like doing dishes because, you know, tired. So I got artichoke hearts that are like in the can and then I heated it up in the microwave and I had that with mayonnaise and lemon, which sounds weird. But I like artichoke already with mayonnaise and lemon. That's like a, a perfectly normal thing for me. Uh, just not the artichoke heart can thing. That's weird. I usually don't like them in a can. I feel like they feel fake. They taste fake. And they were fucking bomb today, guys. Like that, that got my craving. So the next symptom is a new one for me. It is a doozy. So my last pregnancy, I was nauseous twice. I recall being nauseous twice. Sorry for my uh, talky fingers, I don't know if you guys could see, but um, I was nauseous twice and I remember one time lasted I think like 10 minutes and I like had to sit on the couch and I was like, whoa, think I might puke, but not really. And then I got back up and like did the rest of my day. <sighs> this pregnancy was like, <laughs> you're gonna feel like what it really feels like to be pregnant and you're gonna be nauseous. Not just in the morning, but at night too. And I feel like it actually happens like either right in the morning or right at night. No, I get it in the middle of the day too. It just, I'm fucking nauseous, guys. And it is to the point where I have to like lay in bed, turn all the lights off because of course it follows with a headache as well because life. But we get through it. I'll sit back here and I'll be grateful for my nauseousness because watch next pregnancy try to fuck me over even more. So I I'm, I'm gonna take it, okay? <laughs> next thing I want to talk about that I didn't really get in my last pregnancy is food aversions and smells and things like that. Um, last pregnancy, I think it happened maybe, maybe once or twice. This pregnancy, hmm. We don't like smells. The next thing I wanna talk about, I've noticed that my boobs for sure have been getting bigger and it's kinda of cool because Patrick has noticed and I'm just like, hey, you know me, you know my boobies. So yes, uh, you guys have been having so many questions about the gender reveal. Right now, I don't know the detailed details. So the clinic only does it once a week. And so we are trying to figure out because they have so many different clinics and I'm working with one person. Um, she is trying to figure out what exact day that they do like the blood tests and stuff like that. And then after that, they send the results around nighttime and then the next day would be my gender reveal. So if it is like next week or something like that, which hopefully it's not, hopefully it will still be this week, but let's just say it's next week. I don't think we're gonna have the gender reveal immediately. We'll probably have it like a week after so that way people could plan and get time work off. And then I think we might just have our own separate reaction and then do the gender reveal party to tell our friends and family, which we weren't actually planning on doing that. We were planning on finding out at the gender reveal, but I'm just being realistic with you guys. If we have the test results and we can't have the party like the day after, we're gonna probably find out because we are super impatient. We want to know. Another thing that is pretty exciting is I have picked my midwife. So I'm not too sure if I've actually talked about this at all. Maybe I should do a whole video, but I have been searching for a midwife in Las Vegas and after doing all like the interviews and stuff like that, actually the first midwife that I interviewed with, I was already in love with and no other midwife really compared. She has a master's degree in what she does. So I feel so incredibly safe in her hands and I love the fact that she was a nurse in an actual hospital and now she's a midwife. The next thing I wanna talk about, and this is actually the last thing I wanna talk about, but I am so, this makes my heart so warm, guys. 
Grayson knows that there is a baby in mommy's tummy. Or actually, I don't know if he actually knows knows. Of course, he is only a year and a half old, so I don't know. I feel like we underestimate babies a lot more, and I feel like they do know a lot more, but who knows? So basically, he has been holding on to mommy's tummy because he sees that we grab our stomach and Patrick kisses the baby, so Grayson will just come up and he'll go, baby and he'll I said oh give the baby love and he'll go like this and love on my stomach and he'll give my stomach kisses and he'll rub it sometimes he does get a little aggressive with it which I'm a little worried for whenever I get bigger but I'm sure that we'll be able to show him and teach him not to do that but sometimes he does get aggressive and his emotions get the best of him and he's like baby baby and I'm like no calm down and yeah guys that is it for this video I hope you guys liked watching and of course I'm gonna be showing you the baby bump this is the bump as you could see I if you could feel you could feel that it's my actual uterus so it's not me just being bloated I am actually showing now which is crazy that I'm only nine weeks and showing but this is my stomach there we go and so that is baby C but yeah guys have a great one and I will talk to you later bye